Welcome to another episode of Crypto Minder, guys. Today we'll be analyzing what is happening regarding the Ethereum price. We are going to be checking what is happening in the longer time frame. We are going to start also checking out the monthly charts. So we are going to be uh, focusing on what we see in the charts and what the technical analysis has to say. We are going directly here. Before we start, go scroll, smash this like button, subscribe to the channel, press the bell button for all the notifications and get this very nice first content we are sharing every time with you. So let's go directly to the charts to see what we have in the monthly chart and those fractals that they actually make us wonder of what is the next move of the Ethereum and the next bull run, what is coming next in the charts. We are going to be pointing exactly all the fractals and what we have right here. So let's start like by measuring and watching this very nice uh, both cases of kind of bull pennants that we have in, uh, in both bull markets. So now this is the first bull pennant that we realized happening right here and this is the second one that is happening at this point. So we are going to be checking all the fractals and of course we are going to be measuring as we said before uh, to what we have in the charts. Now let's go and focus to what we have at the first resistance line right here, first resistance line also right here and the fractals are pointing pretty much that we would like to measure from the previous high to uh, the low and of course the breakout point that is approximately 424 days as far as you can see right here. Now we are going to be also doing the next you can also see that the momentum waves are in pretty much um, a similar position and I'm going to be measuring also the 424 days from the previous high okay to uh, this low and the breakout point 426 days until we could have another breakout point right here to the approximately 1,400. One 1, this is the level we should be uh, focusing. This is a major point. And of course, we are noticing what is happening also by this definition. Now, also, this is the first thing that we are going to be checking out. And of course, we are going to be measuring as well what is happening regarding the bottom line. So let's take the first bottom and the second bottom. What we see right here is 456 days in between. So we are going to be also doing the same thing, 457 days right here. At this point, this is the red line that, I'm, that I have been adjusting from before, guys. I'm going to be also uh, finding out what is happening right now. So I'm going to be doing something so I can be figuring out if finally this is going to be a legit uh, bullpen and formation and how this could show uh, definitely a breakout point or a confirmation side. So let's take from the bottom to the, uh, to the high, okay, so we can figure out where is the one to one ratio approximately. So as far as you can see, if I'm going to be taking the bottom, the top approximately here, what I'm pointing at is that finally it rhymes by a definition that this could be the breakout point. If I'm going to be taking to the next candlestick, it pretty much also shows by definition that this also could be a legit confirmation in case this breaks towards the upper side. And of course, it gives us the next pump for the next run. So this is unbelievable, to be honest, uh, because those fractals are rhyming so good at this point. And yes, this could be uh, the next leg and what we could have is actually major. So uh, this point to me that is pointing to me that we could have another breakout a little bit earlier. So I'm going to be coming and adjusting at the approximately uh, level one. OK, so I'm going to be also shutting down now the FIB time zone that this gave me a very nice fractal regarding the time. And I'm going to also checking out what we have is a major support line right here. As far as you can see, the support line that I have been creating as well, it is the next uh, level uh, that I'm going to be uh, also checking by the FIB levels that I was pulling out from here. So let's do this again. Let's take out the FIB levels so you can see that I'm not joking. you. So you see right here, I have a, uh, a very nice horizontal line that is holding very nicely to our support level. And what I'm going to be doing is to uh, take out the FIB levels from the previous high. So this is the high, uh, the previous all time high to the previous low. So this is the low that we had uh, before this bull market have started, where it gave us the crazy price target for the Ethereum price. So uh, as far as you can see, 
we have the 1143 as a major major support this is insane okay um what we are gonna be uh pointing is exactly okay the level that we have been adjusting as well here but what we are gonna be also doing is to pull the levels from the high that we had confirmed all the way to the downside of this uh bear market okay so what we are going to be checking is that the level 0 0.236 by deleting this is perfectly rhyming perfectly rhyming with the previous high of this bull market this is actually mental if you think of what is happening right now that the two fibonacci levels are fitting perfectly uh by uh definition with the 0 0.236 rhyming with the as uh, with the all-time high of the previous uh, bull run and also the very nice support line that we have of this bear market so we should stay by here we should stay by the fractals and of course we are going to be also checking out what are the scenarios holding by uh, the fibonacci levels within uh, the next bull run now we are going to be also pulling back in here the fibonacci levels and we are going to be also checking some other things that we could see in um, this level playing out so the 3.618 was the major level where we came to get uh, the resistance of this bull market so you can see right here this is the next level where we are going to be pointing it so also we are going to be checking the 1.618 that is approximately here this has been pretty much a support and also a resistance line when we are moving this is the range territory between the uh, 1.414 I'm sorry 1.618 uh, as far as you can see right here and also uh, the level of uh, the number one 1149 and of course the 0 0.236 level that we have been pointing by um, our previous Fibonacci levels of what we had right here so also the 0 0.3618 it seems like is a major level to watch now let's see what the ab equals cd has to say right here so let's take it from this uh, from this high to the low of the of the previous uh bull market you see that it comes exactly uh, to the points uh, of the high and the low and of course i'm going to be adjusting to the next breakout point so it comes pretty much to give us the ab equals cd and yes this is a very nice definition of what we are going to be also checking by the next uh, step what we are going to be doing also is that we are going to be taking the um a b equals cd right here and we are going to be adjusting to the next bull run so you see pretty much the fractals are uh pointing to uh the same direction and what we are going to be also uh exposing now is the fibonacci levels by the high with the low and you see that pretty much the 3.618 it comes in an insane level it gives us the 16385 so this is the level that we would like to watch as a next high of the next bull run so um you see that we are moving with pretty similar direction with what is happening what happened in the previous um bull market what is happening now and what is going to happen in the future bear market it pretty much rhymes in many ways with the fractals and what we are going to be pointing at so we have the first point that is coming as a breakout right here with the same days and yes it rhymes as well in case we are going to be holding and see a price reversal on the monthly chart and we have pretty much a fake out uh rally that could lead all the way up to the 1990 or even higher with a fake out point to the 2200 so this is a very nice um level that we should see and we should consider in case we want to see an upside move in case we are expecting something like that however we should hold definitely the level of the 1140 in the monthly chart so any type of scenario with a fake out could be a massive indication uh that we would like to see further prices towards the upside so as far as we see what we're going to be pointing is also uh, that this area the support line right here as far as uh, we have noticed is the area where we could see uh, a kind of consolidation or break towards the downside so the first resistance line could be in approximately this level when we see the next 
uh, breakout point. So uh, we are going to be using this path, okay, to figure out if uh, this could finally manage somehow to give us a breakout point in this level, okay, so this could be uh, the first indication that we could dump a little bit further, okay, and to confirm technically this side, an upside move, maybe a confirmation right here, breakout point, okay, so then we would like to see how things are doing. So we are going to be leaving the narrow right here so we can see if we have some other fractals that they are pointing also directions. Let's see now what this has to do with the previous bull run. So what we are going to be counting is 610 days and this is approximately 427 days. So let's see if a breakout could happen in the approximately uh, 1st of August 2023 if this could be the issue where we are heading in the next bull run to the approximately 400 or 500 days, this uh, is the date, the 1st of December 2024 could be the date where we are topping in the next bull run. So we would like to see a further price action towards the upper side, of course, but uh, it, it could be the case, it could be the case that uh, we should see also the previous high breaking, okay? So the previous high breaking, it happened from this date to this date when 1,096 days. So let's see if this could be also 1,000 days. 1,000 days, it takes us exactly to this breakout level. So this is the first of, uh, this is the first of June, 2024. Uh, so this is a, a major date that we would like also to consider as a breakout point. So now, if this could happen, if this could be the scenario, that we could have a breakout point, maybe a resistance right here. As far as you can see, we didn't have any kind of resistance. We broke immediately. So most likely, this could be uh, also the scenario of what is happening with these dates be significant for what we are expecting for the future of the Ethereum price. And in case we would see another dump to the approximately 674, this could also be the case that uh, a fake out move like that could lead to uh, higher prices because this should be, of course, a very fast move like it happened right here, as far as you can see. Uh, it could be the move that we are expecting in case we have a fake out move again for once more. Now. Uh, what is happening is actually uh, mental. What we see is that these fractals are pointing what we are expecting in the future for the Ethereum price with specific price targets and uh, levels that we could see happening and of course giving us a direction that it fits perfectly to what happened back in here. So as far as you can see, uh, we have also this kind of resistance line coming right here and we could also have the resistance line coming right here so let's let's count also from the bottom until the topping right here is 182 days so we could see in 182 days let's take it also right here 182 days uh we could we would like already to start watching maybe a breakout point in another direction uh, coming to confirm one of these levels we have seen of course pretty much a rejection so far uh, here okay so this was this happened a little bit earlier but you see right now guys that we also uh, could have another pump to this date and this is uh, the approximately first of uh, January to come and test this kind of uh, points so this this couldn't be something crazy this is um, something very logic that we could come and test the 1900 before we see another move to the downside and consolidate inside this area or even have a very fast break towards the downside and yes this could be the point where i'm going to be loading my bags for the next ethereum trade let's go to the weekly chart what i'm going to be also pointing right here is what the rsi has to say as far as we can see we had a very nice uh, breakout right here as far as you can see uh, I'm gonna be adjusting also to the most of the tops that we have and right now we see a kind of signal of a confirmation if we are going to have a confirmation at this point we will for sure definitely pumping to the 1859 1900 or even to the 2200 this is the two levels that we are gonna be uh, checking be cautious in case we have a trade opening right now 
and also what gonna be uh, also checking out is the fact that we have another kind of scenario playing here that is pointing to a falling wedge that this could definitely break towards the upper side could be a very easy thing and if we are going to be uh, also pulling out some trend lines right here uh, do it with an easy method okay with this uh, descending broadening wedge we could also uh, definitely see that the breakout point is taking us exactly to the 2200 level so uh, yes guys you you could also consider the fact that uh, this kind of fractals could be insane trades uh, this is not a financial advice but you see pretty much what is happening that everything is rhyming and everything giving uh, gives a very nice direction now so far so good in the williams are very nice uh bullish divergence coming very soon we could have another momentum wave coming in with the v uh, v waps uh coming to the approximately one one and a half week i would like to see a kind of fake out on the bitcoin price you see that as far as bitcoin is dumping ethereum is holding very nice support right here so uh by the news and of course what is going to happen with the bitcoin price we could see maybe a similar uh, v-shape recovery at this point and maybe see another pump that could easily take us to the 1853 and this could be a significant uh, move that could uh, give insane gains right now so as far as you can see even with the leverage three you could see uh, insane profits right here because this move for example that we see uh, unfolding right now is 50 percent so this could be like 150 percent within uh, some weeks uh, this is not a bad trade at all and this is what I'm actually checking right now uh, to the fractals and what is happening in the charts for the Ethereum price. I hope the informations today have pointed to you a very nice direction of the Ethereum. You see very nicely right here what we have, what are the levels to watch. And of course, I hope that we are going to be watching you in the next one of CryptoMinder. Thank you so much for today. See you in the next one. Don't forget to smash this like button. Bye bye.